There are a number of different brass makers that have a special place in my heart for producing particularly fine brass instruments. However, there is one particular standout in my head when it comes to student model trumpets, and that is the Getson Company. Today, we are reviewing a Getson student model trumpet indeed, and a darn cool one at that, so stay tuned. Greetings everybody, this is your host Sam, and I hope you're all doing well today. Violet is doing just swimmingly, she loves her new little corner, thank you for asking. This is another episode of Scholastic Brass Month on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, and taking center stage today is the Getson 400 series, or more specifically Model 490 Student Model B-flat Trumpet. At the time of uploading this review, this Getson 490 is currently on sale at Clearwater Music. There it is upon our bountiful wall of brass in all of its glory, looking to find a new home at a great price. So if you're interested after watching this video, you can send us an email, give us a call during business hours, or come and visit the shop. In any case, to get to know this Getson 490, I'm going to turn it over to my doppelganger at the shop. Take it away, Shop Sam. Thank you, Studio Sam. Let's now take a walk around the Getson 400 series trumpet. On this horn, we see three different metal compositions. Some of these slide tubes here and the valve casings and such are made from standard yellow brass, which is 70% copper, 30% zinc. The lead pipe and bell section, as well as some of the slide crooks, these curvy tubes here, are made from gold brass, which is more like 85% copper and 15% zinc. Then we also have some nickel silver highlights on the slide ferrules and on the inner slide tubes as well. So a very cool looking horn. We've got sort of a tritone color scheme going on here. Uh, we've got a motto style water keys on the main slide and on the third slide water key. We've also got a third slide adjustable ring and a fixed saddle of course for the first. The one occupational hazard of a lot of Getson trumpets is that there's nothing stopping the third slide from coming right off. There isn't a stop rod or retention screw on it so what you're probably going to want to do is to invest in one of these plastic inserts, this trumpet happens to have one, that you can actually just attach to the braces of the third slide and keep the third slide from falling out. The bell engraving on this horn says Getson 400 Series, Elkhorn, Wisconsin, USA. These are really solid horns made right here in the US. The Getson company's manufacturing has always been top of the line, even on their student models. The valves on this one are quick and quiet, as you would expect of a Getson. They've got the classic green valve felts and some nice finger button inlays as well. Looking at the inside of the valve, we have the typical Getson construction with sort of larger valve guides than typical and Monel plated pistons. As a last little cherry on the cake, I'll mention some technical specifications here. The Getson 490's valve block is built on a 460 bore or .460 inches, a standard medium large, and its bell is seamless with a wire reinforced rim and is 4 and 3 quarters inches in diameter, which is a touch smaller than the 4 and 7 eighths inches that we see on a lot of student trumpets. Right from the get-go with the Getson 490, my impression is that it's a very free-blowing and easy-to-play student model. It feels great throughout the entire register, and what's really remarkable about it is the way technical passages feel on it, thanks to those famous Getson valves. They're not famous for nothing, they're pretty incredible. What's interesting is this horn has a sort of a natural leaning towards jazz inflection, But that's not to say that you can't apply it in a wide variety of settings and genres. In case I haven't yet sang enough praise for the Getson 490 for your liking, I'll mention that I really enjoy its sound quality. It feels like any time I play a horn with a lot of extra copper in it, such as the entire bell of the Getson 490, I find that has a really special character and subtlety of sound, especially in the softer dynamics, and that sure happens to be the case for the 490. It's capable of sounding very warm and fuzzy in the softer dynamics. Of course I got tempted and had to test it up an octave, as trumpet players do. <laughs> it's not half a bad lead sound. And in all seriousness, it maintains a nice strong and solid tone at louder dynamics. That solidity is not something you find on every student model, and it's nice that this trumpet can play bright and strong without the sound quality really breaking up in a nasty sense. And overall, it's got a very tasteful sound no matter the genre, application, volume, you name it. 
The Getson Company, as I mentioned, is responsible for some of my very favorite student model trumpets, and while I personally haven't played terribly many of them, I have quite a long history with them, and I'd like to share a couple of personal anecdotes. In middle school, I sat next to a kid playing a 300 series Getson trumpet, and he just, he had the warmest sound in the section, hands down. We all sounded like middle schoolers, but this kid, man, he had, he had something in his tone quality. And then later on, freshman year of high school, I sat next to a guy a couple years older than me who also played a Getson. It was sort of a vintage 400 series, if I had to guess, though I can't quite remember. And he had just such a wonderful, sweet and buttery sound. And of course, for both of these players, it's 90% them and maybe only 10% the Getson. But this latter guy, two years older than me, at one point, the Getson that was just unfortunately poorly maintained in a previous life broke on him and he could no longer use it. So the school had to lend him something generic. I will not name brands here. But it seemed like he lost that 10%. His sound was never quite the same again. Great player still, and still a great tone, but just something was missing. It wasn't quite as warm and dark and fuzzy as it used to be, and I'm inclined to think that the Getson was at least partially responsible in that. It had a small 10% sort of sit. I don't think I need to beat around the bush any longer. We all see it coming. A nice big one for the Getson 490. This is a trumpet you can use in really any application, no matter what. It's a lot more versatile than a lot of student instruments. Some of them really seem to only fit one particular application, whether it's they sound great in jazz but don't have a very good classical sound, or vice versa, they kind of stuff up on you too much in jazz or something like that. I wouldn't even pinhole this as a student horn, to be honest. It's a great intermediate or secondary horn for just about any player in any setting, and so that, I think, really encapsulates why I'm giving the Getson 490 such an enthusiastic Sam Seal of approval. And so, without sounding too much like a salesman, I would like to reiterate that this horn is on sale currently at Clearwater Music. If you visit the link in the description, you'll be taken to their website where you can contact them if you happen to be interested. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed this review on the Getson 490 and learned a thing or two in the process. If you have, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below on the video, and while you're at it, check to see if you're subscribed to the Samuel Plays Brass channel. About every five out of my six viewers happen to not be subscribed, so I'd really appreciate it if you joined the club. It's a great way to stay up to date with more of these reviews as I release them. It's a small gesture with a huge impact on the channel. We're trying to reach 10k subscribers by the end of the year, but I can't do it without your help, so thank you for your consideration. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the flip side. Wow, that was a good snap.